Okay, so Notion just launched a new built-in template for projects and tasks. This is um, new functionality that integrates together so you can have your projects and your tasks and I think it is amazing. So I wanted to do a really quick video giving you a whistle-stop tour of what it looks like, how you can get started um, and potentially if it goes well I will do follow-up videos about how I'm using it to plan my own wedding um, and perhaps how I'm going to be using it for my professional day job as a data scientist. Um, so anyway, let's dive in. So when you navigate to Notion, you will first want to click a new page and then use templates where you'll see the brand new option of projects and tasks. And when you do that, it creates two pages that are actually databases. So you first have a page called projects. And what I really like about Notion at the moment is when you open up this template, it's pre-filled some example projects and tasks to help onboard you with how to use it um, and get started and get to grips with it. So I really like that and that helped me get to speed. Um, but anyway, this, this database view shows you projects which you can, def you can think of anything that you want to get done that involves multiple steps. So if you've got two, three or more tasks, then it is actually a project. And, you know, it has all the kind of organization at your fingertips that you can use to leverage different views, filters and so on that we can go into in more detail in a future video. But for now, just know it has everything really you can conceive of. Um, but if we just take a look at one of the example projects in Notion, um, Every project that you create, it has this window here where it lists all its tasks for that project with some useful information that you can customize about when it's due, what's the status. Um, and it also always pre-populates this kind of Kanban view of the related tasks as well. So it really, really automates like that kind of admin of, here's a project, let me view all the tasks underneath it. it it's there automatically and I guess that's one of the power of the, this new update. And so you can go about building projects via this window. But then if you want to kind of get a more holistic view of just all your tasks, uh, get different views of them, if you jump to that tasks database page, the default view is it's grouped by each project, lists all the tasks beneath it, um, and then gives you columns of very useful information of their status, priority, when's it due, and so on. And so you can imagine as a product manager or just someone doing your work, you can create various filters to say, right, I wanna look at all my tasks that are blocked or I'm waiting on someone else. And so you can review that at the end of the day and send any chasers, uh, check that that information is still accurate and so on. Those kind of automations and, and setups and workflows that you can create because you have so much information all in one place at your fingertips. So this is what I really love um, about this design. So that is really a whistle stop tour, but let me show you ex an example of how I might do it for planning a 30th birthday party, right? I'm, I'm, I'm turning 30 at some point in the near future, so maybe, maybe I'll actually do this in real life. Um, but what I would do is, is navigate to the projects page and I first of all think, what do I need to do to achieve this project? There's various things, right? So I need to get a cake. I need to hire a venue. I need to get a DJ. I need to sort out guest invitations, right? And some people may say, well, this is just a task in itself. Yes, you might think that, but actually if, when you come to think about how you organize getting cake, how you organize a venue, there are multiple tasks within that. So I personally would classify them as projects. Um, this is one tricky thing. It's like, how do you link those together? Well, I'd probably create a column that has a tag that says 30th birthday. But anyway, or you could just put it in the project name, 30th birthday dash cake, whatever. But anyway, so I then set about going through each of my projects that are in the planning phase by default. I'll open that up and start adding tasks, right? So for guest invitations, I would need to design the RSVP cards. 
add that. And as you see, it comes in, also comes into the view here. I need to uh, post invitations. I would also want to receive invitations. And then I need to make a seating plan for dinner. And so you can naturally see those are all the tasks there. I could start filling information about those tasks now from this view, but I personally prefer to go via the tasks view. And you'll see there's my project for guest invitations. And I can start saying, okay, the assignee is this, it's due by next week and various things like that. But the one additional benefit, I don't want to make this video too long is the thing I love and really need in both work and personal projects like this is the ability to track whether I'm waiting on someone to reply or whether I can't action a project because it's blocked by something else. And right, this is a perfect example, right? Because I can't post invitations or make a seating plan until I have designed the RSVP cards, right? So a standard thing that I will do in these, this example is create a column for dependencies. Let me just bring this over. And I'll say, well, the RSVP cards is blocking posting them and it is blocking receiving them and it's blocking make a seating plan for dinner. Right, one thing I haven't quite worked out is if I want to make it so that if this, if something is blocked by, then the status becomes uh, blocked. And so what I'm gonna, what I also do by standard is say, make a purple blocked status. I say blocked. So I realize this is duplicative, but it helps me view in future when you create filters to say, well, if I want to do some work today, ignore the stuff that's blocked or that is waiting on a reply from someone. So for example, I might also have sent to a supplier to design the RSVP cards. So what I would actually also do is create a field that's in progress, but I call it waiting on, color it orange. And so I can say, look, the designing of the RSVP cards, I'm waiting on the supplier um, messaged supplier today, give it a week, right? So when I come to review it in future, I can say, look, my guest invitations project, everything is either blocked or I'm waiting on someone. So I can't, I can put that off my plate for today because I can't do anything about it. So I appreciate that's a really whistle-stop tour of projects and tasks in Notions, but hopefully you can start to get a sense of how you could plan bigger projects in your personal life or your professional life um, and really keep, ta keep track of all of those little things that come to mind that you need to juggle in the air. Put it on Notion. Okay, that brings me to the end of this whistle-stop tour of Notion projects and tasks. If you did get some value out of the video, please give it a like and consider subscribing um, for more videos like this. And honestly, if you have any questions, ideas, or things you want to see about Notion projects and tasks, please put them in the comments below and I'll get back to you. But until then, I'll see you in the next one.